Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Meta and I'm doing a thing, y'all. And I had to bring you all along the ride. Now, normally I like to make my moves in silence. I usually don't tell anyone what my plans are or what my dreams or goals are because I don't want people to shit on them. I don't want people to discourage me and to tell me all the things that I cannot do. Uh, my dearly departed babe, Uncle Monroe, used to say, who was the fire chief of Compton, he used to say that he would tell the people in the fire administration, don't tell me what the fuck I can't do. Tell me what you're going to do so that I can do what I want to do. So my uncle was like one of the smartest, wisest, and papered up <laughs> people that I've known. So I always took his advice to heart. So I'm doing a thing and I'm going to tell y'all what it is. I'm doing, it's not a, a unique thing either. It's a thing that a lot of people are doing, but I'm going to do it a little bit better than everybody else. I'm going to do better than how I'm looking right now. I'm starting an online boutique, y'all. More of an online community a fashion and wellness community. So um, I first got the idea for the name Turia while I was in Costa Rica in yoga school. It means enlightenment. It's like the little accent thing on the top of the OM symbol. And I have an accent over the E in my name. So I like accents and I thought that it sounded pretty. I later learned that uh, John Coltrane's wife, Alice, I uh, became a yogi and became Turia Coltrane. Um, and I just knew that I was onto something. So my yoga foundation, which I taught my classes in Chicago under, is the Turia Yoga Foundation and, you know, brand alignment. So Turia Boutique. So I will be selling yoga clothes, but I will also be selling regular clothes. And spiritual supplies, crystals, you know, it's like a funky, eclectic, uh, glam, hippie type of vibe like me. You can't tell that I'm a hippie or glam right now. But trust me, if you know me, you know that I am. So lots of comfy, cozy sets, uh, workout clothes that don't come down over the crack of your ass while you're working out, uh, stretchy things that can accommodate grown woman hips and booties, and fupas, you know, because definitely not leaving my curvy girls out, not leaving my guys out either. The store is starting small and growing, but I'm definitely looking out for all of my butterflies and dragons. It doesn't matter if you are male, female, black, white, gay, straight, trans, I'm here to serve you. So I got this idea while, well, I've got this idea a while back while I was in yoga school and, you know, have been working on it, um, but just not following through for a, lots of reasons. Like I moved, finance, putting books out, working for someone else. And it was while working for a major retailer that I'm like, yo, I'm spending so much time working for this retailer, getting treated like shit on the phone um, for people who I'm just trying to help because I'm a fraud specialist. Um, and I should be doing this for my own business. So I'm going to attempt to do both for a while because this major retailer job is just seasonal. So trying to get that seasonal coin and use that money to uh, purchase my inventory and still have a little, you know, money to live. <laughs> and so the hustle's gonna be real because I'm also studying for my real estate license and I have a new book coming out. Um, but we do what we must to do what we can. So uh, I'm right now sourcing online for clothes and building my online site. But tomorrow, I will be heading to Los Angeles, to the Los Angeles Fashion District on Monday, but I'm heading out tomorrow, I'm driving, uh, 
to get my first batch of inventory. Now, I could have done what lots of people do, and that's go on Fashion Go, LA Showroom, or in Shine, and, um, you know, order online and have things shipped. But for what I would pay in shipping, I can just go to LA. I'm in Sacramento. I'm just going to go to LA. Um, have a little me time when my friends and family in LA see this video and realize that I came to LA and didn't shout out nobody, they're going to be pissed. So I probably won't <laughs> do that. I'll probably shout folks out after I finish my business first. Um, cause I don't have a lot of time cause I have to come back and work. And even though I work from home, which sucks because I have to be like jacked into the modem. It just, ugh. it was not the freedom work from home job that I expected. And I'm glad now that it wasn't because it made me see what I should be doing for me. I want to be able to have time to spend with my guy, to, I want to have the freedom to be able to travel, to see my mom and my son, you know, taking proper, proper COVID-19 restrictions, of course. Um, I want to be able to watch a show and have a phone call and work out all in the same day. <laughs> like, I just have no time for me and all my time goes to this major retailer. Uh, like, and I'm literally sitting at this desk all day because wired headphones, they don't want you on wireless. They literally just chain to your desk, call center thing. And I did not get a master's degree to do that. So uh, right now I am sourcing, building my website, rebuilding madeasmith.net, somebody jacked my .com. Um, because I'm doing the Miami book fair and that's virtual this year. So like, I have so many irons in the fire, just so much going on right now. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, I feel a passion for the things that I'm doing, which is totally absent in my <laughs> major retailer job. So I'm taking you guys along for the journey so you can see someone from scratch start an online boutique. Not that there aren't a million videos out already of that very thing, because that's literally where I've gotten the wealth of my information on what to do and how to do it. Shout out to Glamazon Tay, The Fine Guru, Boss Mama Jackie, and Allie Schultz, because I have like just devoured their content and um, learned so much. I've worked retail before, um, you know, on the sales end, and now I'm currently a fraud specialist, so I know how to like spot fraud trends and not get scammed <laughs> for my online business, which is extremely important um, because it's a holiday season and people are shady and you all would not believe some of the things that scammers do to scam. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Maybe I won't. Because if I make a video on that, then the scammers will know that we're on to them and then they'll change up. So I have so much to do today. I have to clean up, clean up my closet, office, decorate because the decorations are sitting in a closet. And if I don't use them, it'll be 2021. It's just it's like that. Uh, color my hair, curl my hair pull out a couple of outfits um, and, you know, just make all of the little travel arrangements. I'm putting together a spreadsheet of uh, the vendors that I want to visit to check out the quality along with the item numbers and prices that I've seen online for the items that I would like to purchase. See if I can haggle a little bit while I'm in person, you know, bring, bring that price on down and, uh, yeah come along well y'all it's 11 11 and i am on my way to la i have planned on leaving at like eight um but i didn't pack yesterday for a one-day trip <laughs> um i gotta have options though like i don't know denzel might invite me somewhere who knows i might run into jason momoa so 
gotta have options gotta be prepared for everything and now I'm on my way to gas up the car go to Walmart pick up a ring light and hit this road toad I'm out of here I don't even know where I'm staying y'all I figure it out when I get there because um I know lots of LA is sketchy as fuck and I haven't been to LA in like 10 years so um I'm never staying in a hotel in LA and I've never been to LA by myself to do stuff by myself with no friends or family so let the adventure begin okay so I am in Santa Monica right now and I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna stay um <laughs> it's seven no 640 so no no huge rush um so I've narrowed it down to like three places but I'm gonna do a drive-by because you gotta look and see if there's sketchy people in the parking lot there's sketchy people everywhere in LA but um yeah I'm here so I am tired um I'm a big driver, like, I've driven from Chicago to Atlanta by myself, Atlanta to Miami and back, um, but I am tired today, because I had to drive around after I got here to figure out what neighborhood I felt comfortable staying in that wasn't going to break the bank, because the more I spend on a room, the less I have to buy inventory with, um, so I am by the airport and um, so it's a decent hotel. It's the La Quinta and it's, it's decent. It's, you know, not like the Four Seasons, but um, it, it's definitely going to work for this quick turnaround trip. And um, I went to Aldi because they don't have Aldi in Sacramento and I got my $4.99 champagne. that I'm sipping in a plastic cup because I'm classy like that. I also got um, Red Lobster because I had a um, I had a gift card for Red Lobster. So I got an ultimate feast and did not feast on it. I ate like three shrimp, four shrimp, <laughs> and then put it in the refrigerator because I'm that tired. I had planned on um, giving myself a mani patty and a facial and like, you know, really chillaxing. But I think I'm just going to go to bed. You see, I have on my satin pajamas and my satin hair bonnet. And after I finish this champagne and scroll the interwebs for a little bit, I'm going to call it a night so that I can wake up early. And I'll do my mani pedi and my facial and stuff uh, then, and um, head to the design district, to the fashion district. I don't know. I might stay another day because I feel like I'm gonna be tired after walking around the fashion district. And the five is like there are no lights on the five, so. Um, a lot of that drive is going to be in the dark and um, my glasses make the lights glare way more than when I don't wear the glasses but when I don't wear my glasses I can't see so I need to get new glasses when I get back to SAC for sure um, but yeah I'm watching Family Guy chilling and going to sleep and I'm going to sleep without anybody Touching me, humping me, rubbing my booty, which, I mean, it's not bad <laughs> to have someone do that every night, but um, my guy is a morning person, and I am not a morning person. Um, I'm a night owl. Not tonight, but I am a night owl, and um, I can get a full night's sleep without him snoring, without him playing the damn drums on the cabinets in the morning just slamming shit around he wakes up at 3 50 every morning that every weekday morning 3 50. i hear his alarm go off i hear him and, and then he goes and works out in the garage and that's fine but then when he starts getting ready for work around five he's super hella loud so 
I have peace and quiet in the morning. I should probably just do like a little staycation once a month. I mean, I hate this pandemic, everything, and like, yo, let me show you how much I hate the pandemic. <laughs> Did you think I was going anywhere without this? Did you really think I was going anywhere without this? I've sprayed everything down and I'm still like hella paranoid and mask. I have goggles because my guy has like sport goggles, regular goggles. He's got like some bionic face shield thing because he's a dentist. So he, you know, has to have like all kinds of mad PP. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's about it <laughs> for today's adventure. I literally seen like none of LA because um, it's dark outside and I'm not going to see any tomorrow except for like downtown LA and then I'm hitting the road and going back home unless I stay another day and then if I stay another day then I'll probably call my cousin but um, who I would have just stayed with. But she had surgery earlier this year and I didn't get COVID tested before I came. And like, I would hate to be like sick and get somebody else sick. Like that shit really, I wouldn't be able to handle making somebody else sick. And you know, so she had surgery on her liver. Like, yo, that's immunocompromised. Like I'm totally not trying to get her sick. Um, I would love to see her and hang out with her. Cause she's like one of my favorite cousins. So don't be mad at me, Danita. <laughs> if I if I don't call you and if I don't see you this trip, don't you dare be mad at me. I'm trying to keep you healthy and safe. And I know you want me to be healthy and safe. So yeah. Gonna go on and go to bed. I have a new ring light and I could have been playing with that, but no. So. Alright. Good night, y'all.